is a video on how to make a simple two-part mold with Fusion 360. It's just the real, real simple, simple basics. So you want to have your body already in there. And then I'm going to take a face, that face, and make a sketch out of it. I'm going to be real simple here. I'm going to make it a half of an inch all the way around the object, just using the grid line. I'm not going to add any dimensions or anything because I don't need to. Then I'm going to finish the sketch. I'm going to hit E for extrude. I'm going to press down my command. I'm using a Mac on a PC. You would do it. It would be with control. Then I'm going to say I want to go from two sides. My object there is. Um, is a inch and a half. So half inch this way, and then this way, I'm gonna go um, down here, um, two inches. It's gonna uh, automatically go to cut. I wanna go to new body. And then I'm going to say, okay. All right, so now you're like, wow, well, geez. All you have is a solid block there. Yeah, well, there's still more things to do. So I'm going to go to the com Modify and Combine tool. Now I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to select the body that I'm going to keep. That would be that one, the target body. Then I'm going to go into Tool Bodies. That's what's going to get cut away. I'll select that. Operation Cut, good. Don't check these. It'll get messed up. Say OK. Now, wondering, will that work? Well, one quick way to see if it worked is to do inspect section analysis. Click on that and push this back and just see. OK, yeah, I have that cavity in there. That's cool. Say, um, and then I hit escape there. Or if you hit OK and you want to get out of there, you can just hit Command Z. And you know it'll, it'll get you out of the section analysis. Now I want to split the body. Before I do that, I have to do a plane. I've tried this with an offset plane, and I didn't have any luck uh, making a, a splitting tool. So I'm going to do a mid-plane instead. Um, I'm going to select that. It wants to know what planes am I going to be midway through. And you want to think about how your mold is set up. And for me, this is... Mm, one of the, I think it is the only way I can do this. Or, or, uh, if it's not the only way, it's the simplest way. Back here, I'm going to say OK. All right, now I have a plane splitting that, and I can go in here with Modify, and I can go to Split Body. I want to split that body. That's the only one showing up. Splitting tool, get that, and then I'm going to say, all right, that plane I just put in there, and I'm going to say OK. Now you can see a line is there. Now one thing, uh, you know, you might not want this in here, that plane anymore in there. And that's a construction, so I can just hide that. All right. If you suppress it in your bottom thing, um, th things will start going away. You don't want that. So now I'm going to go in and um, I am going to make these into different components. So I'm going to turn the bodies on down here or get them to show up. But then I'm going to right click and say create components from bodies. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to say create components from bodies. And I'm going to name them. Um, this is the bottom. We're just going to call it the bottom. This is the top. And if you don't believe me, what we can do here or not believe me, but you can turn this opacity down and make it so it's not opaque and you can see and now we can kind of more visualize that that's a bottom and that's top. And I think it's a good idea to go in here and name them. Probably was a good idea before, but again, we're trying to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. So I'm going to call that mold bottom. And then this one I have to. I think it's a triple click on that to get the name to come up. Um, uh, is mold top, and that's good. Now, what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to put a hole in here to pretend that uh, we are going to put some stuff in there. I'm actually going to put it on the other side here. Um, and I'm going to put uh, um, an X here. So I'm going to create a sketch um, here on that. And then I'm going to come in here with uh, a couple construction lines. And I'm going to draw them to certain points down here. A lot of times, if this was up high enough, that side was up high enough, I'd just connect the corners. But I don't think it is. So I'm going to connect this with that coming in just slightly. And I'm going to. And then I'm going to make a point. So I'm going to come in here, create, and point. And this is this will make making the hole quite easy. You can see that my X is coming on there. All right, and I'm going to finish the sketch. Now I'm going to go to home. Then I'm going to pick this. All right, now I'm going to say hole. I think I can hit the H. Yep. And I'm going to um, pull this over. Then I'm going to say, I want to do it from, I basically want from the sketch. So here I'm going to pick that, and it's going to go into there. And I want to, I've already done this uh, practicing for the video, so it's already set to the things that I need. But I want to make sure that my whole type space are here, so I have a really simple rectangle. Then my distance is how far in I'm going to that. Um, I know it's a half inch because that's what I made the um, first sketch I made to go around it. And then here is the diameter of the whole quarter inch sounds good. So I'm going to say OK. You'll have to type those things in because what you get probably will be way too big for you. And then I'm going to say, all right. Um, at this point, for a mold, you probably would want to have some uh, reference points that this would make sure that it went back together correctly. Uh, we aren't going to worry about those. We're just going to um, hop into making a drawing because it's supposed to be simple and straightforward. So I'm going to go into making um, a drawing. So here I'm going to say... Um, make a drawing and this the reason that I want to say this and fusion is oh there we go from design uh, I want to make I want to do the drawing is because if you don't hit if you don't click off of this then you won't be able to make draw separate drawings of this so I'm going to say select this component and it doesn't select the other one that would be a separate drawing um, and then I'm going to keep this stuff, even though it's not going to work out. 100% you will get the picture. So it's going to take a little time to generate here. Um, and it'll be OK. So uh, the scale, let's mess around with this a little bit. I th one to one, I think, is a little bit too big. Um, Actually, I think this could work for us. So I'm going to click that. Then I'm going to do the drawing views. That's what I want here. This is what I want here. And then usually you're going to have more room than this, and you'd put it up here, right? But we can go here. And then I'm going to click back on this. It's not gonna, this is not what we want. We want that to be filled in. So I'd right click on it, edit the view. Then it's gonna say select the view. It's kind of a weird fusion thing, but say okay. Click here. Oh, sorry, close. And then that's the drawing, you know, that's your drawing. And that's pretty clear on what that would be. And um, 
you know, and you could put your dimensions in and everything that you needed to in this. And this could be a way that somebody would be make, you know, a mold, making a mold for an injection molding thing. It's much more complicated than, than this, um, but that's, that's okay if you're just trying to get your point across um, that this, this, this would work. Thank you for watching.